FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. Dr. Mamataz is one step closer to securing his place as a U.S. Senator. The former daytime TV show host, 61, won the Pennsylvania Republican U.S. Senate primary election on Wednesday. Oz defeated former hedge fund CEO David McCormick, another leading contender in the race after a recount vote that spent days. The count showed Oz bested his opponent by 951 votes of the 1.3 million ballots cast, according to the Associated Press. He'll now take on Democratic Lt. Gov. John Fetterman in the November election, a race that could help turn the tides of the almost evenly split Senate. With the statewide recount officially concluded, it's time to focus on how high the stakes are in November, Oz said in a statement on Wednesday. I look forward to continuing my campaign across our great commonwealth to earn the support of Pennsylvanians that want someone who will stand up to the liberal Biden Fetterman agenda leading to higher gas prices, record inflation, and unprecedented levels of violent crime. McCormick conceded the election on June 3 despite the recount still taking place. It's now clear to me with the recount now largely complete that we have a nominee, McCormick said at a campaign party at a Pittsburgh hotel on Friday. Tonight is really about us all coming together. Earlier this month, frontrunners Dr. Mehmet Oz and McCormick defended their conservative values, business records, and Pennsylvania roots during a debate, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette reported. McCormick referred to Oz as a Hollywood liberal who has flip-flopped on major issues. Desperate Dave, dishonest again, Oz responded, the outlet reported. Former President Donald Trump endorsed Oz on April 9 and later showed his support for the candidate at rallies. Trump, 75 said he had known Dr. Oz for many years, as have many others, even if only through his very successful television show. He has lived with us through the screen and has always been popular, respected and smart. At the rally in North Carolina on the same day, Trump touted Ozzy's accomplishments and likability. Harvard educated, tremendous, tremendous career and they liked him for a long time. That's like a poll, Trump told the crowd, the Washington Post reports. You know, when you're in television for 18 years, that's like a poll. That means people like you. Fox News host Sean Hannity, another Trump ally, also endorsed Oz in March. Both Oz and McCormick entered the race after the leading Republican contender, Sean Parnell, dropped out. Parnell, an Army veteran who had been endorsed by Trump, suspended his campaign in November after losing a custody battle amid allegations of abuse by his estranged wife, which Parnell denied. Parnell tweeted following the former president's endorsement to express his disappointment, Oz is the antithesis of everything that made Trump the best president of my lifetime, has the farthest thing from America first and head be very bad for PA. Some other GOP loyalists argued that those close to the former president were sabotaging him by convincing him to endorse Oz. When Oz officially announced his run for Senate in a November The Washington Examiner op-ed piece, 
He said he wanted to help fix the problems and to help us heal. Prior to the campaign, the television personality had been living in and filming his show in New Jersey. He began voting in Pennsylvania's elections via absentee ballot in 2021 and his Pennsylvania registration is tied to an address owned by his in-laws, the Associated Press reported. A spokesperson for the Dr. Oz show earlier told People, since last year, Dr. Oz has lived and voted in Pennsylvania where he attended school and has deep family ties. Sony confirmed that the Dr. Oz show would come to an end in January, amid the host's Senate run and the program would be replaced by his daughter Daphne Oz's show, The Good Dish.